Greetings and welcome. Uh, in today's lesson, we're going to talk about perpendicular vectors, uh, both in a plane and in space. And uh, we're going to have uh, pretty much two formulas, there's technically three, um, that we're going to look at. And the first one is called the inner product. Uh, it's sometimes also referred to as the dot product. So these are going to behave somewhat like multiplication, I guess, in a sense. But both of them are, these, the two formulas that we're doing are, are unique from one another. So there's kind of like two types of uh, multiplication, so to speak. And the dot product, or inner product, is defined as such. So if, so if I have vectors A and B, are two vectors. Um, specifically a1, a2, and vector b1, b2. Um, then the inner product is the following. And this is our formula. So it will be uh, denoted as the, a dot product, right? So that's where the dot name comes from, where it's the multiplication dot symbol. And it is a1, b1 plus a2, b2. So I want to point out that this uh, formula when I multiply all of these uh, coordinates of these vectors, it's going to give me an actual number. Um, so it's not going to give me a vector back, it's just giving me a number. And this actually, it reminds me of um, the determinant back when we did matrices, uh, how the determinant was just a particular number. Uh, and there's a fact about the dot product that, uh, I guess I'll say this way, is if um, a dot b equals zero, then the vectors are perpendicular. I guess I'll abbreviate with the perpendicular symbol there. Upside down, capital T is what it looks like. So uh, this ends up serving as a test to determine the perpendicularity of vectors, and in this case, uh, specifically in a plane. Um, now, so this is kind of like the reason why we use this, um, and that's, that's for in a plane, and then there's also a formula that if I have, uh, if vector A was, say, um, A1, A2, A3, so this is where the, the variation comes in. I really consider this the same formula, though. Uh, and vector B is B1, B2, B3, then the dot product for vectors in space, three-dimensional, uh, would be A1, B1, uh, plus A2, B2, plus A3, B3. So it's pretty much the same formula, it just adds that one more uh, component for the third dimension at the very end, tail end there. So here's our first uh, formula, so to speak. So let's do an example in which we'll determine uh, if the vectors are perpendicular. And let's say I've got these vectors. So let's say I've got vector uh, p is 7 and 14. And let's say I've got vector q is 2 and negative 1. Uh, if I want to determine if these are perpendicular, uh, what I would do is use my little dot product formula. So <coughs> p dot q is going to equal uh, 7 times 2 plus 14 times negative 1. 
And I believe um, back when we did determinant of matrices, it was subtract, so make sure you don't mix up um, these two formulas. Uh, so let's multiply this out. So that's 14 plus negative uh, 14, which equals 0. And since that is equal to 0, I could say, therefore, uh, P is perpendicular to Q. Right? Uh, this little triple dot is just a symbol for therefore. Uh, so that's one of the ways we can use this, is just as a test to determine perp perpendicularity. If uh, it was any number other than 0, uh, then they would not have been perpendicular. And let's just do a quick one. Um, uh, for a three-dimensional one. So let's say uh, vector a is negative 3, 1, 1, and let's say vector b is, uh, let's say, 2, 8, and negative 1. So now I'm in three dimensions, so let's uh, figure out what the dot product of these two are. And uh, in order to do that, I just multiply their corresponding coordinates, essentially. Uh, so negative 3 times 2 plus 1 times 8 plus 1 times negative 1. So I'll get negative 6 plus 8 minus 1. Uh, so that's equal to 1. So since this is not 0, uh, therefore vector A is is not perpendicular. To be right, so it's a quick little test, as easy as that. Um, the next formula I'll show you in the next video. Thanks for watching.